What's up you guys? My name is Sonia with Staples and Tents and today I'm going to talk to you about beds. Camping beds. Not a review, but just a conversation. So when we first started out camping, we used the big thick air mattresses. We were like, we're going to be off the ground. We're not going to be camping. We're going to be glamping. And you guys have probably had the same experience where you wake up in the middle of the night and you're on the ground. Or you just don't get a good night's rest because, you know, the air mattress deflates and you're just uncomfortable. So soon, like really quickly, Dakota and I, we realized that we needed to upgrade. We bought these really thin Coleman sleeping pads. It's not that we really wanted them, but we were at the Coleman outlet. They were on sale, so we got them. That wasn't it. Having two separate sleeping pads was just not for us trying to sleep next to each other night. So we upgraded to this, the Alice Mountaineering Velocity Airbed. I did a video, click it here, where I showed all three of those options side by side. Now, Dakota and I, we used this for probably two years and it was a really good air mattress for $100. For those of you that don't want to spend 300 plus dollars on the Expat Mega Mat, this right here is a really good option where you, you won't wake up in the middle of the night and you're on the ground. So check out this Alps Mountaineering. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below. Please, you guys, if you decide to buy any of this stuff, use our links. It really supports us. We get a small, just a little, little small percentage of whatever it is. So this Alps Mountaineering, why did we stop using it? We stopped using it because even though you don't have to refill it, you don't have to inflate it as much as you do the big air mattresses, you still have to inflate it. So you guys know, Dakota and I, we started doing long distance stuff where we're going in the middle of nowhere and we would camp four seasons. You know, in Georgia, the temperature is really mild. So we would legit camp summer to winter all year round. And this, it's pretty good. We still had to inflate it every single night. And then we're having to use batteries and worry about electricity. And this was pre Goal Zero product. So, you know, but even still to use our Goal Zero every night to run the, um, the air pump, that's a lot. So we upgraded from this. I actually thought this had a hole in it. I don't see a hole in it. I tried, I found the little, um, I found the little repair kit because I was gonna repair it and use it this weekend. So, Right now, Nakota and I are using the Expat Mega Mat Duo. We actually have a single and we have a duo. So when we go camping solo, we take the single. When we go camping together, we take the duo. This, you guys, this, the Expat Mega Mat Duo is by far the most comfortable sleep ever. You know how Beyonce say, I woke up like this? You wake up like refreshed. You wake up refreshed. So I know it's expensive. I know, I know, I know the Expat Mega Mat is expensive. But if you're one of those people that you wanna buy once and cry once, as opposed to buying three or four or five times, go ahead and jump to the Expat Mega Mat Duo. I'm gonna put a link below. Um, I'm gonna put the video here. So watch the review when we got our Expat Mega Mat Duo. This is, I guess, a long term review. It's holding up. It's still doing its thing. We are having zero problems with it. We actually have it out on loaner this weekend um, for some friends. So, all that to say, if you're thinking about an air mattress, a bed for camping, and you're not ready to go to the like really low profile um, sleeping pads, consider Expat Mega Mat Duo. It's four inches tall. Um, this one is six. This Alps Mountaineering is six inches tall. So you're still going to be on the floor, but, but it's comfortable. And so some of you guys may ask, well, what about a cot? I'm going to tell you this. When I did my solo camping trip, um, I borrowed Teresa's cot. She, cot. she has the Kelty, um, she has the Kelty cot. It worked perfectly. I love it. It was easy to put together. I could see using it solo camping, solo glamping. But for a double cot, we haven't been able to find one that really suits our needs. We have the Coleman um, Aerobed. No, it's the same as any other air mattress. The air mattress deflates and it's just uncomfortable. Um, 
Years ago, we tried this airbed on top of another double cot that we have. And again, it wasn't uncomfortable. I think the bar that goes through the double cots, it's just not, um, it causes too much of a, a ridge in the middle of the cot. But I am really interested, if you guys have a double cot that's comfortable, please leave a comment below. Or if you have a sleep system that you think works for you guys, car camping or overlanding, leave it in the box below. So I said all of that about, um, I said all of that about the x -Bed, how great it is, but, 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 I have seen a product, the Nemo Roamer. The Nemo Roamer is a double sleeping pad. Again, it's four inches thick. The R value isn't as quite as high as the x -Bed. For the Nemo, the R value is six, 6.0. For the x -Pet is 8.1. So the R value is how well insulated it is. So the higher the R value, the better the insulation is. When you look in air mattresses, look for R value. This one does not have an R value, I'm gonna tell you now. But when you get into the really high quality sleeping pads, look for R values, it should have one. And you want something with a decent R value because when you put it on the ground, you don't want to be cold. That's another thing. When you set up your tent, you always want to put some type of rug or a mat or something under your sleeping pad, whether it be whether you're sleeping on an air mattress or whether you're sleeping on a sleeping pad. Put something under it. And not only does it provide a little more comfort, but it also, specifically in the fall, the winter, and the spring, when it gets a little cooler at night or you know, sometimes downright cold, having that extra bit of insulation can make a big difference. So I really hope this video helps you guys to have a little more knowledge on how to go about picking an air mattress but you have options you have options because i know a lot of you are waking up in the middle of the night and you're just uncomfortable and our motto is if you're gonna camp you want to be as comfortable as possible so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it. Share it with a friend. Share it with someone that you know is into camping and beginning their camping journey so that we can help to educate the community about how we can get outside and be as comfortable as possible. All of the products that I mentioned in this video this week, there will be links in the description box below. If you want to support us, a good way to do that is to use the links below so that we can help fund this full-time overlanding journey, y'all. We are really trying to get here and we need every cent that we can. And also, if you really like us and want to um, support us, check out the link below to our Patreon or our website, Staples and Tents, where you can order some Staples and Tents swag. So thank you guys for watching. As always, have a good day and remember to keep it intense. So now our sleeping system consists of the tent, double sleeping bag, our yeah. Alps mountaineering, <laughs> air mattress, our 500 count queen size <laughs> sheets. <laughs> and this time, um, I sandwiched the air mattress in between the sleeping bag so that um, the sleeping bag could create a, a layer of warmth between us and the ground. Oh, I also have yoga mat. Yeah, yoga, yoga mats under the sleeping bag.